Okay, so uh, we've now waited half an hour, just coming back to do the um, fold, so stretch and fold. So you see the elasticity in the gluten, and uh, you've got to do this four times. They talk about doing it uh, north, south, east, west. So you lift it up, get a big chunk of it. Yours will hopefully be a bit smaller than this because you will have only done 500 grams. Remember, I've done a load and a half this time. Flick it up from each turn, twist it around through 90 degrees and just keep lifting it and you see that strength in that gluten in that bread that we've made there. Hold it again, if you want to pull it out as well that's okay, just try not to break it. I think it's what I've learned, I'm not quite sure what that does but um, try and keep the strength in there and lift that and that's the way you do it. And then you'll see the shape, it was a little flat at the top before, now it's almost created a ball. Now if it's warmer or cooler you might have to do this fewer or more times. I'm just going to do one more flunk ju just to show you that real strength in there. It's lifting up and it's now starting to break so I'm going to take it down before I break it and then we go. We've got a nice ball. That's stopped. I'm going to wait another half an hour and come back again. Thanks.